Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at using NGIF inside of our Angular 4 applications. We'll also take a look at using the else statement that was introduced inside Angular 4. I'm going to be using an example website here. So this shows a list of courses that are on offer. You can add a course to the cart or you can see details about the course. The most important thing about this is I want to display a different image if the course is on sale. So maybe we'll have a little sale box at the top right of the image. We can do this by using ngif. So if the course is not on sale, I want to display the current image. So let's make a variable inside of our courses component. And we're going to say is course on sale. And at the moment it's false because the course is not on sale. So we'll build the ngif to display this image in our template when the course is not on sale. So ngif is course on sale. We can save that and the course image still appears because the course is not on sale. But we've decided we're going to do an entry 50% off launch. So for that, we're going to say else. And then we need to pass a different template. So we're going to show a different image if the course is on sale. So let's write a new ng template and we'll give this a template variable of sale image. And instead, we'll pass through a different image element. We'll use assets image i3 underscore sale. We can then update our ng if to basically say if the course is not on sale, then we show this. But if it is on sale, we can talk about that template variable of sale image. If I then toggle the boolean inside of our courses component to show true, we can see that we get that different image with the sale tag on the top right. So hopefully now you'll be able to take advantage of both ngif and the new else statement inside of your Angular 4 applications. If you found this useful, then hit that subscribe button because there's many more videos on the way. And until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you in the next video.